Silva. I'm one of the owners of Drift HQ. I'm the event organizers, I'm human resources, and I do a little bit of everything. What you guys see behind me, it's my S14. I've had it for about, I'd say five years. I purchased it in 2014. It had a SR20. He's gonna put a, a picture of how it looked before. And then from the SR20, we, um, I guess I outgrew the power on it and we put an LS1 in it for about six months to a year. Everything worked good and I got a little ambitious and I wanted more power. So we did a 5.3 truck motor with a single turbo T70 on it. We were able to squeeze 727 horsepower out of it on 14 pounds. It was good power, but you know, stock block didn't hold. We had a lot of blow by. The headers that I had in the, in the beginning was a little too close to everything. So I had a lot of meltdowns. I'll go to a track, I'll put a 50 second, you know, nice run. I'll come back on fire. I had oil, you know, spitting out of the catch can. So we had a whole discussion on to go to simple so we took the whole motor out sitting on the storage right now the full setup the turbo 5.3 and we put a stock 5.3 in there with just cams uh, push rods valves and all of that trying to make some power that was good for about a year and then I was introduced to the 6.0 where I was I looked at numbers I did researches the way I like to drive it, it fit perfect so we did a 6.0 with um, head package from Texas Speed Racing. We were able to squeeze 440 horsepower out of it. Uh, it was good, it's still good, until the little two bolts from the throttle body butterfly came off, the engine swallowed it. I completely destroyed my block. There was big scars on the, I think it's cylinder eight. No, no, cylinder six. It was a five, five or six. Um, so we took it apart and instead of just putting stock parts, we decided to do something better. Progression, you know, you start here and then you make it a little better here and then you work here and then you do a little here. So we're now on, on, the, on the stage that I'm really happy to put it back together and start driving. We're doing a four-inch stroker with a tech speed racing head package, cams, everything pretty much ready for me to just drive how I drive. I love to live in the RAV limiter. I'm known for that. Um, I like to put out a lot of smoke and I believe the new setup is gonna do exactly what I want. And I'm really excited. We're also gonna do some modifications on it, on the whole chassis. Uh, Cricket, come here real quick. You guys know Cricket. Uh, What's up guys? Dot HQ, you guys seen him on the other videos. We're gonna do some fab work. We're gonna do new brackets in the front for the coolers. We're gonna put a new fuel cell in the back. The with fuel the bladder. cell with the bladder. The fuel cell that I have right now, uh, I've passed Pro Am and all of that tech, but it doesn't have a bladder on it, you know, and uh, we wanna be safe. So I have a, a fuel cell sitting around. We're gonna make a new crate for it. We're gonna cut. We're gonna actually smash this back window, which is gonna happen today. So, for a guy to come out here and remove this window is gonna cost me 120 bucks, okay? And for me to sell this window would take me about two, three months, the real window, and I'll probably get like 100 bucks for it. So why not make something good fun out of it? I'm gonna smash it. You guys ever heard about the whole spark plug way of smashing it? So let's see if it's, it's gonna work. Wait, I thought you were gonna actually use a, like a whole spark plug. No, it's just, just no, a little it's a porcelain from it. It's just a little porcelain from it. Huh. Okay, you ready? Uh, Safety uh, first. I don't know if it's gonna work, man. No? Go ahead. Pay attention. <laughs> nope. Let's see, hold on. <laughs> oh! What a little tiny piece. It did work. That's so, all it takes. Something Horse like this big. Whoa. Yeah, you go. It actually surprised me. Whoa. It scared Locks like he jumped. <laughs> yeah, I jumped, man. Loxley was jumping when that shit hit. Whoa. Fire! Bam! What is spider? Nah, nah, nah. I got all worried because he thought I was cutting the wrong piece off the back end of this, but Savio and Duarte actually touched um, beginning of the year at OSW and smashed this bash bar off, which it's already been fixed and replaced a few times because you can see all the booger welds on it.
was waiting for you to say go. <laughs> I said start already. <laughs> All right, so I took in, um, I cut out the old fuel cell cradle to make room for the new fuel cell uh, with the bladder. We're gonna totally redo the rear end of this car, uh, make it look nice and clean and proper. Tomorrow, I'm going to make the plates for the top to cover up this right here where we cut out, uh, leave a hole for the radiator and make a support for that. Then I'm doing a firewall plate as well in the front. And then we're gonna do a little bit more magic in here where we're gonna plate this off, cover it up, and then plate down there. So we got a lot of aluminum work that we're gonna have to do. Um, um, so stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment. Comment for your chance to win a free t-shirt from Drift HQ. Obviously, the welder ones. So uh, tag some friends too. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow.